What's up, YouTubers? Brandon here with Beard Guy EDC, coming back at you guys with another video today. So today's video is going to be another little different one. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a bit of knife modding today. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be dyeing the scales of my medium honey badger leaf. Uh, it's actually not the scales for the leaf technically, but they're going to be going on the leaf. Uh, I dyed these scales that came off of the damaged tan worn cleaver that I had, uh, but they're both medium, so the scales are the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dye the, uh, the scales actually uh, green, or a bluish green, a teal color, and I'm going to dye the, uh, the backspacer purple. It's a royal purple, so I'm going to be using Rip Dye More, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of an educational one for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoy the process, and maybe it'll help you in your dyeing journey for your knife modding experience. As always, have a great day, and uh, don't forget to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next in the comments. Enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, today we're going to be doing some, a uh, little bit of knife modding. We're going to be doing some writ dye on my honey badger. Uh, I've already had the knife disassembled because it's the honey badger that I've talked about in a couple videos now that I uh, damaged. So the knife was previously disassembled. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit how to disassemble the other honey badger and uh, put these scales on once they're dyed. I've already went ahead and dyed my backspacer purple. So as you guys can see, it's pretty purple. Nice deep color. So that's the backspacer. We're going to be doing the scales in uh, tropical teal. Pretty cool color in my opinion. So just a little rundown on what we're going to do here. I've already taken my isopropyl alcohol and I've, uh, I've cleaned off my knife scales. So they're good and clean, no contaminants on the scales. Also, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take about two cups of water. So I'm gonna grab some water there now from the sink. And I always do just a little extra for good measure because sometimes your cup isn't full. So just a little extra for good measure. So there's two cups of water. So that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna turn the heat on now just to get that started. And I'm going to take about a cap and a half of the Rit Dye More. So, this, like I said, this is the Tropical Teal. I've already done the Backspacer Purple. You're going to want to wear gloves while you're doing this. For the first little pour, I don't usually wear the gloves. It's not really that important for this step. So, like I said, about a cap. So, there we go. Tropical Teal. Add it to the water. And now we wait. Okay guys, now that the water is starting to uh, come to a little bit of a boil, I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat back just a little bit. Because we want to keep it at a rolling boil, we don't want it to overboil. So right now, just like I said, I'm just turning the heat back just a little bit. just to. Uh... So now that this is starting to boil, I'm going to go ahead and take my scales, which are kind of rigged out on this wire, piece of mechanics wire here, just to make it easier to remove them. I don't need to use a fork or anything. And now that the water is starting to boil, I'm just going to dump those guys in there and let this hang over the edge. Make sure they're fully submerged, like so. So the scales are fully submerged. The heat is turned back for a good rolling boil. And now I'm going to start my four minute timer and we're going to see how it looks after four minutes. And if after four minutes I'm not satisfied with the color saturation, I can throw it in for another three or four minutes. But uh, judging by the purple, the purple came out pretty good after about four minutes. Like that's a pretty deep purple in my opinion. And that was only in there for four minutes and that used to be a tan backspacer. So pretty, pretty happy with the uh, four minutes on the backspacer. Definitely interested to see how this color turns out. Uh, I know the uh, royal purple turned out really nice on the backspacer, so hopefully this tropical teal turns out really nice on the handles. I'm uh, pretty excited to put this together. It came off of a medium worn cleaver. I'm hoping these scales also fit the uh, medium uh, leaf. I'm pretty sure they will. I think the uh, as long as they're the same size honey badger, the uh, scales are pretty well the same across the board. So now that things are boiling and everything's getting uh, good and dyed, this is the step where I'm going to go ahead and throw on some gloves. because. I don't really want my fingers dyed green or purple or blue or any other color, so throw on some latex gloves just to protect my hands when I go to take these suckers out. So we got about a minute left of dye time for our first four minute dunk. 
If I'm not satisfied with the saturation of the color after that, we're just going to go ahead and dunk it again and put the timer on for another three, maybe four minutes, just to uh, really make sure that the color gets in there. But uh, we'll see how it looks now in about 30 or 40 seconds when this timer goes off, and we'll see what kind of saturation we got from a four-minute RIT dye in Tropical Teal. As you guys can see, we got a nice rolling boil going here. It's nothing too crazy. It's not going to bubble over or anything, but it is going to keep that dye nice and hot so it can penetrate into those FRN scales. And here goes our timer. So, not quite where I want to see it. So we'll dunk them back in for another probably three minutes. Okay, fully submerged. Now we're going to go set our timer for another four minutes. Start. So we're one minute into the second dunk. Uh, things are looking pretty good. I can definitely see the color uh, in the bubbles of the water. So. Hopefully it's penetrating pretty good into those scales. I know it's a tan scale, not a natural or a jade, so it's going to be a little harder to get the tan to go to this blue color. Uh, the purple was pretty easy because the purple was really dark. It's actually a few shades darker than the tan that it was, so the purple only needed four minutes and it was, it was done. This blue, like I said, where it's a bit of a lighter shade, it might take a bit longer. And uh, it's definitely looking that way. We've had it in for four minutes and we're about a minute and a half into our second dunk now. So we'll just keep this going, and hopefully the dye can penetrate through the tan, and uh, we'll get some cool results. It's always exciting doing knife mods because you're never really sure how it's going to turn out. And uh, yeah, you definitely get a, a cool little feeling when you, when you see it done. You feel a satisfaction, or I guess you could be a little let down if it doesn't turn out the way you liked. So we'll see. We we'll might have some surprises here. Maybe, maybe it'll turn out how I want. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'll like it better than I thought I would. So. I just figured I'd do this little video just because I was going to dye my scales anyway. And uh, I do have the channel, so this is, this is just my little method of how to do that. Use about a cup and a half, two cups of water to about a cap, cap and a half of dye. And just bring it to a rolling boil and submerge whatever part it is that you're trying to dye. Uh, I like to use a wire just to make removal and stuff a bit easier. And yeah, that's pretty much the procedure. So like right now, we're three minutes into our second dunk. So like I said, we're just keeping that boil rolling. Nice steady boil. Hopefully now another minute or so and we'll be ready to pull these scales out and see what they look like. Alright, that's the end of our second four minute timer. Shut that off. Uh, this video is probably not going to be in real time for you guys. I'm probably going to do a little bit of editing, you know, the, the magic of YouTube. So this is what we got so far, the coral teal or the uh, Tropical teal. This is after eight minutes in the dye, so we're going to transfer that over to the paper towel here. We're going to turn that heat off. I will be right back with these after a quick quench under some cold water. Things don't always turn out the way you think they're going to, especially when you're using a, uh, a scale that already has color to it, like the tan that this honey badger has. So after eight minutes in the dye, we ended up with not quite a teal, but uh, a nice little green for sure. We've got good penetration all throughout the scale. It's not quite OD green, but it's also not quite a uh, forest green. It's kind of an in-between. So the tan definitely affected the, uh, the teal color, but I think it came out great. I think the green looks cool. I think it's going to look nice when it's all together with the uh, purple backspacer. So there you go, guys. That is the process for Rit Dymore. It's not a very complicated process, you just gotta trust the process, get your water to a good boil, keep your parts fully submerged. I like to use wire just to help with removal so I don't have to fish around with a fork or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the process. Make sure everything's clean with your alcohol, keep your water at a good steady boil, and uh, watch your time. Keep your times consistent, and you'll end up with a good dye job. So. Uh, the next part of the video, we're going to be showing you guys how to actually disassemble the Honey Badger and install these scales. Because like I said, these came off a previously disassembled knife. I would have liked to show you guys that, but I already had it done, so what do you do? I hope you guys enjoyed this process. I hope you found it informative. Maybe it's going to help you with your dying journey. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, and we'll show you how to install these parts. Okay, you guys, so like I said, 
Now I'm going to be disassembling the Honey Badger leaf and installing the dyed hardware from the old uh, tan worn cleaver. So let's see how this goes. See if we can uh, make this knife look cool. T6. So I got my T8 and my T6 here. I'll start off with my T6. And we're gonna remove the pocket clip. I like to start by removing the pocket clip. There you go. So the longer screw goes through the lanyard, uh, through the backspacer. The shorter screw just goes into the scale. One more T6 for a body screw here. On that side. Okay, so that's all my body screws on the clip side. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead with the body screws on the non-clip side. Place that there. there. And lastly, the one that goes into the scale. Pull that out. Shorter screw. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to my T8 for the pivot. Here we go. Right in there. One bearing. One scale. Now I'm going to gently remove the blade from the pivot, put my blade to the side, and I'm going to remove the pivot and the other bearing. So now, take my stainless steel liner out, put my black scale off to the side, and I grab my new and improved green scale. Place the liner in there, grab my pivot. This knife was recently disassembled and cleaned, so I don't need to do much cleaning or anything of this one. Now I'm going to install my bearing. Okay. Put our stop pin in there. So we have the bearing, stop pin, the liner, now the blade. Now we got the blade there. Now we're going to want to take the liner out of this scale, as well as the pocket clip spacer. Place that to the side. Install the pocket clip spacer, as well as the liner. Way to go. <clears throat> now I need to take my standoffs out of my back spacer and put them in the new backspacer. Okay, so now my standoffs are in there for the body screws. Line that up with the lanyard hole. Install my standoff. Okay, now I'm going to take my other bearing. Install that on the blade here. And now we mate the two sides together. Take that, line it up. Make sure the stop pin is good, as well as the pivot. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pivot screw, place that in there. Take my T8 on my driver. Give that a decent little rundown. Don't want it too, too tight. Okay, we're looking good so far, guys. Let's grab my T6, swap that out. and install the pocket clip. So I like mine to be a right-handed carry, so the pocket clip is gonna go in there. Grab my longer screw, place it up top. Okay guys, a little over-caffeinated here, so I'm a little bit shaky. So let's put the longer screw in first. Now we're gonna grab a shorter one. That goes in just to the scale, not into a uh, standoff or anything. Tighten him down. Same thing with the uh, show side. 
We're going to grab our shorter screw, give them a good rundown into the uh, scale there. Okay, and now our longer screw up top. The show side is always a little bit easier to work on. Pocket clip usually makes things a little more difficult, but uh, not too bad. Give that a little rundown. Okay, one more long body screw that goes through the standoff here. We'll run that down. And now the shorter screw that just goes into the scale. All right, all my body screws are tight. So now I want to set my pivot. So now I put my T8 back in, go to the show side, I'm going to back that off a bit and just snug it and back just a little bit. So definitely needs to be snugged down a little more. And then back a little. Give the blade a quick wipe. And here we have it. Our nice green honey badger with purple backspacer. Still nice. Opens real smooth. Easy mod. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely a cool little one. It was certainly fun to, uh, to modify that honey badger. Uh, as always, I'm going to show you guys what I'm carrying today. Let me just clean up my mess a little bit. Put my T8 back in there, T6 back in there, and my driver. Okay, so let's show you the carry for the day. I'm rocking with my Lumen Top Tool 2.0 AA. Locked out, not locked out. So, pretty cool. I like to keep it locked up so it doesn't turn on my pocket. And I am rocking with my Let's Go Brandon pocket pen. And of course, as always, the Wee Banter. I uh, have been loving this knife. It's truly my EDC ever since I got it. I carry this thing every day. Action's incredible. The materials are amazing. Ergos are great. Can't complain about the Wee Banter at all. Love my carry. But most of all, I love the way that this green and purple turned out. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a joker look. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. I like the way it turned out. And yeah, that's the Honey Badger Leaf with some modified scales. As well as my carry for the day. Hope you guys found this one informative. Uh, it was definitely fun to dye the scales and do this little tear down. As always, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for a bit more EDC content like you're seeing here. Uh, hit the notification button as well if you, uh, if you really like what you're seeing. So have a great day, you guys, and take her easy.